this is part two of the video series on synchronizing your iPad with iTunes. And this video is going to look at the summary tab and the info tab of iTunes. So file synchronization is the process of ensuring that your iTunes and iPad contain the same up-to-date files. So if I add or change or delete a file from iTunes, then that synchronization process will add, change or delete the same file on the iPad. So you've got to select what you want to sync on your iPad. So when you select your device in iTunes, there are a number of tabs. So if you wanted to sync music, you'd select the music tab, uh, check sync music, and then you've got a whole lot of options. And we'll look at those in future videos. Today's video is about the summary and the info tab. And the summary tab gives you information about your iPad. So if you wanted to know its serial number, and I've got mine blurred out, but you can get it from here. The serial number, the uh, operating system, so you can check what version you've got and whether you're up to date. The capacity, so this is a 64 gigabyte iPad. Uh, and its capacity, once the operating system is taken out, is only 57 gigabytes. There's also information on backups. So if you want your iPad to be backed up to your computer automatically, and that means as soon as I connect my iPad with that charging cable to the computer, iTunes will open and it will immediately start backing up automatically and it will be stored on the computer so that if I need to restore my iPad back to factory defaults and then I want to restore my data, I've got a backup on the computer. The other way you can automatically back it up is to the to iCloud. You can also encrypt your, back, your local backup if you wanted to by putting in a password. Uh, you can tell the latest backup. So t the latest backup on this iPad was this morning, 6.45 a.m. And if I wanted to now back it up manually, I could back up now. now. You can have a backup that goes directly to iCloud. So if you selected this one, automatically back it up to iCloud, it would mean next time you connected it to the uh, iPad to the computer, it's going to back up automatically to iCloud. And if you wanted to manually back it up to the computer, you'd have to select that one. You'd have to remember to do it. Uh, and if, as you can see here, I never back mine up to iCloud. Mine has always been backed up to this computer. Uh, the importance of backups are primarily to get your iPad back to its condition that you were last at. So if some problem occurs and you've got to delete it, then you can restore your backup. Uh, going further down, you have a number of options. So when you connect your iPad to your computer, you can have iTunes open automatically and the automatic backup will immediately commence and the syncing process will commence automatically unless you make any changes. And you can, if, if you're inside a network, then this one's an obvious one, sync with this iPad over Wi-Fi. So I have that checked and at the moment my iPad is not connected with the cable and I can on my iPad go and start a, a, a um, synchronization just by tapping a button in the settings. On my iPad, if I was to go into the settings and into general, I have a iTunes Wi-Fi sync here. So it will allow me to synchronize my iPad wirelessly without having any connections to my computer, as long as our computer is plugged, plugged in and on. Uh, the iPad doesn't necessarily have to be plugged into power. It's not connected to power now. And if I tap sync now, it's going to start synchronizing whatever is on my iPad uh, with the iTunes on the computer. And you can sort of see it there. There's seven steps to the syncing. The first one is doing a backup. And it's just waiting for the sync to, to start. And it's going to synchronize apps and books, films, music, photos, TV shows. Uh, and I can cancel it or I can just let it go. Up the top is the syncing process. It's finishing the sync. So that was the uh, wireless sync that I just set up. The 
task bar at the bottom gives you an idea of how much space is left on your iPad and, and what is taking up that space, so the capacity. And it, and it colour codes it. So the, the blue and minus, it says I've got uh, 2.7 gigabytes of audio and tells me how much video I've got, photos, apps, books, other, whatever other might be. And our other could be data that's contained within apps uh, or videos you've taken in the, in the camera roll and whatever space is left. So four gigabytes left, nearly five. If I needed a bit more space, then I can go and look through the app collection and maybe disable some apps and remove some or delete some of the video. Uh, and then when you're ready to sync, you sync. If I was to attach it, so at the moment it's not connected. I'm going to eject the iPad from iTunes. So clicking that means that iTunes, the iPad is no longer there. So as soon as I connect it with the cable, you can sort of see it coming up here. And you can also see the syncing process ready to start. It's backing up, starts iPhoto. Let's just move that one. It backs up. First step is backing up. Now it's doing the automatic backup. So anything that is new on the iPad, any changes I've made to settings, uh, in any of the accounts, in the mail accounts or the contacts or the calendar, anything I've changed, bought, purchased, updated, is now going to be backed up in that first process. And it's almost finished the backing up process. If I was to go onto the iPad and do anything, any make any changes to it, then that syncing process will stop and it will start again. As it finishes the backing up process, it then moves to uh, step three of the syncing process. And it's transferring the purchases so it's looking for what apps have been changed it's looking for photos that have been taken with the camera roll and depending on how much change you've had from the last backup will determine how long that that backup will take if i was to restore my ipad so over here restore the ipad to factory defaults and i get a, a chance to back out of that but if i select restore then it is going to we delete everything off that iPad and I would have to uh, restore the backup. And as you can see, you, once that process is complete, you can restore all of your contacts, calendars, other settings, and then restore the backup. With the info tab, and the info tab is where you can sync your contacts, your calendar, your mail, and your um, bookmarks and most of this I sync with iCloud so you can see here I don't sync anything because it would just give me duplicates so I could sync my calendars but I'm using the Google Calendar I'm not using the uh, iPad calendar so I'm synchronizing my Google Calendar through the iPad settings instead of using the syncing process in iTunes for uh, contacts and calendar uh, I use the, the settings in mail so because I've got Google contacts Google mail Gmail Google calendars in the mail contacts calendars I have an email account for Gmail Gmail and if you wanted to add a, a Gmail account you just tap add account Gmail putting in your uh, Gmail mail address your passwords really all you have to do and it will set it all up for you but once you've done that go back into this into my Gmail account and you turn on calendars you turn on mail you can turn on notes so anything that you do in uh, Gmail will be synchronized to your iPad. So with the calendar, if I was to use the calendar app now, let's try and find it. It is synchronized with my Gmail. So if I went back to June, everything that is there is from my Gmail, Google calendar. I have not entered any of this information directly into the calendar app. I use my Google calendar and I synchronize that 
with the iPad calendar. So in your iPad in the settings app under iCloud, you have the ability to turn on um, syncing for your mail, contacts, etc. Uh, instead of using iTunes to do it for you. iTunes will only back up account settings, not the actual messages. So uh, and, and so will iCloud. It's a little bit more efficient to have iCloud do all this syncing and backing up rather than iTunes do it. The other thing that iCloud also does if you turn it on is is back up and synchronize any bookmarks that you have used using Safari on your iPad. Then if you're using a Mac uh, with Safari, those bookmarks will also be synchronized to the Mac through iCloud. So the rest of the information on the info tab, uh, as you can see here, I have not selected to sync anything because I'm using iCloud to do all of the syncing and backing up for me. That's all for part two of this video. In the next uh, video, we're going to look at how do you sync the apps to your iPad.